Thanks for joining us today for another episode of our Packaging Professional Series. I'm Derek Dyke, and I'm joined by my colleague Lee Moore to help us walk through the process of developing our rigid box. Rigid boxes are used for everything from specialty food to beverage alcohol to fashion retail. So first, let's start by choosing your style of box. Two-piece rigid box. This is a flush closed rigid box with shoulder. Cigar style. Storybook style. Rigid tray with sleeve. Rigid boxes with drawers. And cylinders. Fold flat rigid boxes. Rigid box with platforms. Specialty shapes. Structures, key questions. Does your box need any inserts, trays, dividers, or drawers? If magnets are being used as closure, could the item being packaged be affected by this? Do you have suitable storage to accommodate your rigid box order, or should you consider a full flat structure? To measure a standard rigid box, we start by opening the box and measuring the inner dimensions of the base. Starting with length, width, and height. Next we measure the inner dimension of the lid height. Specialty shapes and sizes can be tricky to measure, but try to provide a maximum length, width, and height. This is where a sketch or a photo of a similar project can come in handy. Size key questions. How do I measure a box that will be using a shoulder? The standard papers to wrap a rigid box are coated art paper, white craft, uncoated natural craft, and specialty and embossed papers. When it comes to materials, there are many thicknesses to choose from. And this will move up or down depending on the weight of your project or the look and feel you're hoping to achieve. Material key questions. What green features are important to you and your customers? Recyclability and or recycled content? Do you require food grade materials or inks? What are the differences between CCNB and SBS versus a paper wrap? In terms of printing, we determine whether we want to print the exterior and the interior, whether we're using Pantone colors or four color process, or a combination of the two. Finishes include matte varnish or gloss varnish, gloss lamination, matte lamination, overall UV, or spot UV. Specialty finishes include hot stamping, aluminizer, velvet flocking, soft touch, and overall embossing. Print and finish key questions. 
Based on your requested finishes, what is it best to consider offshore manufacturing versus domestic manufacturing? What are the benefits of automated, semi-automated, and handmade rigid boxes? Ribbons can be used for drawer pulls, handles, or ribbon closure. Ribbon can also be attached to a box using barbs or knots through a grommet. You can also have latch closure with a handle. And for product visibility, consider adding a window. If your box requires an insert, one option is rigid EVA, a clear tray, a cardboard insert, a vac foam tray, you could have cotton or foam, and you may also require a paddling or a layer card. Specialty options, key questions. What ribbon options do I have? What are the benefits of using barbs versus knots to hold the ribbon in place? Do you want the tissue to be cut to the tray dimensions, or would you like a larger sheet folded down to size? Are the trays to be clear, colored, velvet flocked, or lined with a board. To discuss the details of your rigid box, contact us. Sales at lovetopack.com or 416-638-1221.